For football, back again, and today we're going to be talking about Jack Butlin, Paul Hanlon, Rangers Chief Finance Officers, and also a wee bit of Brendan Rogers in there. Welcome back to the channel. But first off, we're going to talk about Jack Butland, and of course, it's been a really great season for Jack Butland. He's really rebounded it in his career with the move to Rangers, and apparently, Rangers value Jack Butland at around 10 to 15 million as the 30 year old Englishman's stock continues to rise following his summer move from Crystal Palace. End of quote there, or, you know, article, headline, whatever. And you know what? I did say in January when Nottingham Forest came in, it's like, I wouldn't even accept 20 million for the guy. I think Jack Butlin's so crucial to Rangers. You know, he, he's come in, and pun intended, he's fit like a glove, a goalkeeper's glove. He, he's great. He's the, easily the best goalkeeper in the league for me. Um, And, you know, I think Craig Gordon at fully fit, isn't like a million miles off him, but apart from him, I think everyone else is pretty much a million miles off Jack Butland. I mean, I, I mean, obviously, uh, I mean, Joe Hart, not exactly on J Jack Butland's level, is he? Uh, he's no, he's no, and I think anyone with a brain would be willing to admit that. And you look at around the league, there's just no one near Jackie boy Butland for you. But I think Rangers coming out and valuing a player that's 40 years old, I guess, I think that's a good statement of intent for Rangers. Kind of be like, ah, well, if you want him, here's 12 million you're going to have to pay. I like it. Because, you know, 30 year old for a goalkeeper is not exactly a 30 year old outfield player for me. To me, goalkeepers can play till, the, till like 40. No, no real issues for me. Obviously, some players are different than others, and some goalies might want to hang up the gloves a wee bit earlier than that. But realistically, right, if Butlin wants to stay at Rangers, we could have him in the, well into the 2030 decade. Easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And I think that's why it's like he's kind of like a 25-year-old outfield player because if you're a 25-year-old outfield player, you kind of feel like, well, you know what, you're going to get like another 10 years out of him, but then like the last few years will probably will go doing hell a wee bit. And here, there is but outfield players that can last longer. You know, Stevie Davis, what a man, what a legend. He lasts a wee bit longer. I mean, I'm not saying it can't be done, but more often than not with goalkeepers, they do go longer than outfield players. So for me, Jack Butlin, keep him, but it's good to see Rangers. Prize him at that. Meanwhile, Hibernian captain and centre half Paul Hanlon, who is 34, he will be a host of players of senior names allowed to leave this summer as the Ember Club seek to lower the average age of their first team squad. What about Steve? See, Lewis Stevenson, what's he doing these days? See this gimmick of, oh, he's this, this is his 19th consecutive season of Scottish football. Ah, well, I think it's time for the big man to call it a day. To save the least, I've got, I've got to say the least, sorry, I think he's got to call it a day. But Brendan Rodgers, what's he going to call it today? He's come out and he's hailed Joe Hart as one of the big, big leaders at Celtic Sound. The experienced goalkeeper is a real catalyst for the champions. Um, of course, Brendan Rodgers last night, well, it was on Sunday to be fair, uh, saying he, he pulled Leela Bada out of, the, out of the light, out of the flame, out of the fire, so to speak. And... Um, we really have to do the same with Joe Hart. I mean, Joe Hart was really shaky. I mean, he is really shaky, but you know what? Against Aberdeen and against St Mirren and against Hibs, he's actually came up with some pretty decent saves. I, I'm, I'm more than man enough to admit it, brother. He did. He came up with some good saves. Uh, definitely kept the score down. I mean, most of them, you know, I'm not saying he done it absolutely phenomenal to keep the score down, but he, he did at the same time. You know, he's, he, he, that's his job, this guy, as Roy Keane would say. That is his job. And also, just to wrap this wee uh, early afternoon video up, New Rangers Chief Finance Officer James Taylor mapped out the Ibrox Club plan to wipe out 10.5 million pre-player trading loss. The chairman, John Bennett, told shoulders had to go away and keep an eye out on their annual meeting. So yeah, Rangers, hopefully you can sort that out and all the good stuff. But that is where we're going to leave this video. Will Jack Butland have bids in the summer? I mean, I think, for one, I think he probably will. But I just don't see how Rangers... I, 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 right, one, I don't see how Rangers will accept. Two, I don't see how Jack Butland will leave. I, I, I don't. I think you, you see the guy on his social medias, you see the song about him, you see him during the games, after the game, like lifting the trophies, he knows he's onto something special up here with Rangers, I mean the guy turned down United for us, and I know yes obviously right, he was going to be on double the wages at United, which is a pretty big yes, you know if you're money orientated, but the guy's already made his money, you know all these, I mean yeah there's no harm in more money, but the guy's probably went, I'm 30, I can go to a great club like Rangers, and actually play week in week out, what's the point of being at another great club like Manchester United, just to sit on the bench and not even play a game. He, he made the right choice in my eyes. But anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below. Till next time, peace.